Hello there. Welcome to DG360. We've been watching this dude named Joel Haver, which the algorithms helped me find. And this gentleman here, his name is Chael Puella, says, I'm loving your reactions to Joel's animations. Have you reacted to the Galactic Empire Emperor series also by him? No, I have not. But now I will watch the entire series in chronological order. You're welcome. Saya, what is your first decree as Galactic Emperor? <laughs> uh, I don't... Uh, what does a Galactic Emperor usually... What do they usually do? You could destroy a planet! Destroy a planet? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. Seems like something to do. You just started this job. I'm not really trying to do anything too crazy, you know. Who brought this guy in here? What the fuck? <laughs> stupid, right? All right. Okay, that was the first uh, episode here. Here's more. There's more installments here. <laughs> it's a good question. It's a good question. Uh, let's see. This is labeled the Bounty Hunter. I have to do what? I don't know. I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. Dangerous. Yeah, I'm good. Are you sure? I think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> a theme here I'm detecting I'm detecting a theme all right here here's the next one entitled the asteroid belt here <laughs> let's go sir huge asteroid belt ahead my scanners put us at a nearly zero percent chance of survival oh okay um well can we go around or there is no way around <laughs> All right, well, yeah, let's let's just go back. Go back? I mean, you said 0%, right? <laughs> yeah, z yeah, 0%. Mm -hmm. If it's 0%, it, it, that's not a chance. That's, uh, th those are terrible odds. It was nearly zero. Okay, what does that even mean, nearly zero? I mean, what do you want? You want me to try doing that? Why are you presenting that as a choice, even? You keep that to yourself. You just don't ask me stupid questions like that. You turn the thing around before you ask me about the 0% odds. That's stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, okay. This is this is absolutely great. This one's called, Sir, what are your orders? I'm, my throat hurts from laughing. Sir, rebel ship's on our radar. What are your orders? Hold. Begin holding. <laughs> Sir, they are within operational range. Do we fire the proton beam? Hold. Hold the proton beam. Maintain target. <laughs> Sir, they're firing the warp drive. Do we shoot now? Hold. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, 
Sir, what the fuck? They just got away. We had ample opportunity to fire at them, sir. Are we just supposed to tell the Galactic Emperor that we just didn't, we just held, we just didn't shoot them? No. Hold. But, uh, but sir, that's uh, against galactic law. Hold. <laughs> Hold. Hold. Love, man. Love. Love. There's a lesson here. There's a, there's a lesson in that. There's a lesson in that. There is a lesson in that. The next one. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> this dude is a genius. This Joel Haver dude is a genius. By the way, we have a Joel Haver playlist on DJ360. You have to check out. He made a series called the RPG series. Hilarious. Okay, we're watching every single one of these in order. So we will have the complete series coming up on the channel very soon. This is called The Galactic Trial. <laughs> Sire, these men have committed a great crime against the Galactic Federation. On their watch, a rebel fleet escaped. And then they held hands. What is your punishment, sire? <laughs> Wait a sec. Wait. Wait, what did he... What did this guy just say? <laughs> uh, they let the rebel fleet escape, and they held hands, sir. They held hands? These two held hands? Yes, it is abhorrent, and it must be punished immediately! Immediately? What are you going to do to... Dude... Wait, dude, like, you're gonna execute people for holding hands? Yes, it is one of the oldest galactic rules. Yeah, what? <laughs> what kind of empire is this, man? That's so stupid. That's so, so, so stupid. You know what? I don't like that one. Can we get rid of it? Uh, sure, I, I, I don't see why not. No, it is one of the oldest laws. You guys want me to get rid of that? Yeah. Uh, uh yes. Mm -hmm. All right. No, no, Three, no. two, on, side, one. Side. Oh. Strike that down. Done. Uh, this Galactic Emperor hold? is pretty cool. Yeah. Now you guys can hold. There you go. There you hold. go. Hold. Hold. Love is the answer. Right. Love is the okay, answer. Okay, but sire, lest we forget and let the rebel fleet escape. Yeah, we need some rebels around here if we got stupid laws like that. Absol like, are you kidding <laughs> absolutely, me? Absolutely, absolutely. Like, honestly, so rebels are could, four. could you get a hold of the rebels? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, the rebels are pretty got cool. Got their number right here. Yeah, I'd love to pick their brain. They sound yeah. like they got some good ideas. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of tired of thinking. Yeah, no, for sure. All right, yeah. Uh, do we just leave? Hold. Uh, hold. Yeah. Uh, very well. Hold. Yeah, hello, Rebels? Yo, what's up? This is, uh, this is G-Man. Galactic Emperor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know that, uh, that hand-holding law? Kinda got rid of that one already, so... If you guys wanted to hold hands... Oh, you are... Already holding hands. Okay, that's... You know, that's good to hear. Uh, I guess word travels fast, <laughs> this is right? This G-Man. Oh, yeah, right. You are rebels, aren't you? Oh, shit. What the? What? I thought you... I thought you left, like, five minutes ago. No. No, I was... I was always here. I never left. Dude, I'm bugging. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gee, man. Okay, and the last... By the way, let's just say how awesome we are. Because... We're putting this whole Galactic Emperor series in chronological order so that you can understand the very beginning all the way to the end here. This last one's called The Rebels. Let's check it out. You guys are gonna love this next room. This is probably my favorite part of the tour. Favorite room in the whole ship. 
It is the teleportation deck. Teleportation deck. It is literally my favorite room on the entire ship. I love it. It's lit, for real. But uh, there's one minor kink in the system. It's pretty s small detail, actually, but like, you can't really get back once you are sent. Uh -huh. So we've been sending trash to the recycling dimension, basically, just to get rid of it. But well, it looks really cool, man. I uh, Probably looks pretty cool inside, too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Jeez, Literally, we can loop. take it. Let's go after you guys. Come on. No, oh, no, no, no. I mean, don't, there's not like a, I mean, doesn't the leader like leave? Oh, you want us to go first? Sir, I don't think that's a good idea. No, what are you talking about? That's manners. They're being nice. You it's should so learn cool, yeah. a thing or two from these guys. Sir, they are rebels. No, no. You're the emperor? No, they're pals. They're friends. Come on, after you, guy. I just don't know if we should be doing <laughs> Hush, hush, hush. Put the green Come on. I really don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> All right, green guys and G Man is next. Guys, follow me. Oh, and by the way, here is the control panel. Literally controls everything from outside. So whatever schmuck goes inside, stick a fork in them because they're done. They're cooked. You can blast them to another dimension. Just to reiterate, controls are here. They're literally right here. There are no controls inside whatsoever. I'm going inside. I'll see you guys in there. Come on, guys. This will be fun. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be right there. So there's a, not a whole lot to see here. Basically, it's all four white walls. And that was the door. That's fine. That's fine. Guys, just press the door open button. They probably just tripped into it. That was the teleportation sequence. Guys, it's fine. You probably just tripped into it. it happens to me all the time. Guys, just press the red button. The red button! Yeah, the big red button. Now. Cancel, it says. It says cancel. Stop. Yeah. Well, we did it. We got rid of the Empire. The people have been freed. No more prisons, no more leaders, no more wars. It's a new dawn for the rebellion. What? Like, like no prisons, like at all? What do you mean? Like, what if there are people who? It's a good who? point. It's a good like, point. Kill people. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, those people. See, this is the cycle. This is the cycle. People don't understand, right? The rebellions, and then they, if they win, right? If the rebellion wins, then they become what they defeated. This is the cycle. This is the cycle of humanity. It's crazy. It's one giant crazy cycle. Because then the rebels take over and they're like, okay, well, we do need some rules, right? And then 50 years goes past and there's a little bit more rules. And then 50 years go past and there's a couple more rules. And then 50 years go past and there's way too many rules. And then another 50 years pass and then there's way too many rules on top of the rules. And then the rebels themselves over the next few centuries become the new empire. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Forgot about them. Um, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll probably keep them. Away? Locked away, yeah. Like where? Oh. Uh, prison. A prison. So just one prison. One prison. A prison planet. That'd be... Prison planet. That's perfect. That That's perfect. I love, that. Yeah. I love that. I no love idea. to write that down because I might forget it. Yeah, but how, how are we going to like establish this? Don't we need some, like, some sort of like funding or something? I mean, we're not getting rid of money, are we? I like money. You like money? Yeah. You, you <laughs> use money all the time, right? Oh, all the time. You like money. I have a problem, actually. We're not getting rid of it, so people are still going to be working. And I figure uh, the people who are working for money, we just go around and collect just a little bit. Just a little bit of money from everyone, and you know. Now, now comes the mantle. Now, now after the, the the revolution, now the rebellions establishing its rules, and they realize, you know, maybe this is a little too difficult. And they're and they're starting out. They don't know. They they're trying their best. <laughs> they're trying their best. Money. They they they're not college graduates. They're not. You know. They're trying their best. Let them let them try it. Let them try. Are that fun is things like prisons. What if people don't want to give us their money? You're saying some people might. I refuse. Yeah. Send them to the prison planet. I wouldn't want to give my money away. We'll have systems in place, little loopholes for they they don't they won't take our money. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Because I like money. And maybe if we have a little extra money, we could use it to like upkeep this here ship. Wait, we're, we're keeping this? I thought this was like a symbol of our oppression for the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, Notice it's enough. the power of the stash filters through into the video, and then we're all we're all envisioning exactly what's happening. The stash is taking over. The stash has put stashes on every piece of animated character that nice we see ship. here. It's a nice ship. It, it'd be wasteful not to use it. And we, you know... Maybe we could travel around and, you know, hover Good in people's you, atmospheres Brad. and be like, hey guys, we did you a solid, you're free now. And just know you owe us one, right? Maybe you want to like switch the colors from like red to green or something. Make it seem like they're actually good. I like red. I think red's cool. I do like red too, so I think we're going to keep the red. But It is more intense. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, stashes are for rebels. And uh, listen, Joel Haver, he's a genius. I love it. And now it's time for a DJ 360 Spotlight. <laughs> Diego Silva says, I'm loving your reaction to Joel's animations. Have you reacted to the Galactic Emperor series also by him? Yes. Yes, we have the entire series in chronological order because we're awesome. Yes, sir. You're not going to hate me. Because yes. <laughs> we're awesome, Pepe. I know we are.